Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Heather. Today I am going to be tackling this bookshelf. You can see what a mess it is, but I am going to be doing it as a mashup of a book tag. So I hope that you will stick around. If you've not yet subscribed, please take a second to do that before you leave today. And without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get started. The situation that has happened here is that it has became a catch-all for everything. And I vowed that it wouldn't happen because I had this looking so wonderful and it was just so nice to come in and see it all put together. And I vowed this would never happen, but it did. So we're gonna take care of it today. We're gonna organize, we're going to um, unhaul some books that I probably won't be keeping. I will be selling off the books that I will be unhauling. So if you wanna see those over on Instagram, just leave me a comment below and I will share those with you. So the book tag that I'm going to be doing along with this is called the color book tag. And I had not seen this yet. However, Nina from Wrestling With Disney sent me the nerdy narrative who I also adore. Um, she sent me her video. She said, you should totally do this when you start organizing at your bookshelf and you film that. And um, I was like, oh, that's, that's a good idea. I could do that. And then um, once I saw the very first prompt, I immediately sent her a message back. So we're going to get started with the book tag and then we will organize. The very first prompt is the choose a color. And that's why I sent Nina a message back. I said, since you sent me the idea of this, you get to choose the color. Um, she's never seen like a detailed look at my bookshelf, so she doesn't know really like all of the colors that I have, but she did pick blue. And her exact response was, let's make it blue. So one, I know that would make Beth from the Collectioners Club happy. And um, we're just gonna go ahead and make it blue. So I'm gonna grab what I can reach here and then I'll stand up and get the rest. First one is Christmas in Connecticut. Uh, multiple writers, multiple stories in here. And this is a Debbie Maycomer, Mary and Bright. The thing of it is this is like primarily blue, but there are some other colors. And then there's like a, um, a banner behind the book title. So I don't know if that really counts or not, but I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, I gotta keep this here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and count it. And then this one, is not entirely blue but the side of it is blue and then look at the beautiful front cover of this so it's got some major blue on it like I kept some out that were kind of this way as well so I don't know if this counts but it's so beautiful um, I don't know if that's breaking the rules but I'm gonna count it next up is Emily Giffen something blue I apologize for the lighting We'll see if I can change that in a second. And then this one, I don't think that I can count, but the spine of it is blue, the back of it is blue, the front is half blue, um, and it is the All Girl Filling Station's Last Reunion. I had a Disney Frozen, Frozen Heart book. The Story of Beautiful Girl, Rachel Simon. This one is kind of controversial if it's blue or not, but it is Time is a River, and like the back of it and the spine and the bot of like the middle is a silvery blue. So I'm counting that because it's a really good book. This one is mostly blue. It's the house on Fripp Island. We have three from Janet Ivanovich. It is two for the dough, three to get deadly and turbo 23. We have a few Nicholas Sparks book. One is safe Haven. So it's mostly blue. And then I don't know if this one counts or not. Probably not. This one doesn't count because it's mostly a motion picture cover. So that doesn't count. I'm putting that one back up. Um, two James Patterson books. One is Sam's Letters to Jennifer. And then this one is Sundays at Tiffany's. Some of these are going to be mass market uh, paperbacks and then some hard back. Um, I buy what I like and what I can afford. So there's a hodgepodge of all the things. This is Friends Wood. 
is mostly all blue. I think this is probably what they meant by blue covers, but um, this is Mary Ann and the Library Mystery. Pat Conroy's Beach Music. It's nice dark blue with beautiful uh, beach on there. Um, I think this one is controversial as well. So I'm gonna put this one back. There's a lot of blue in it, but I think it's teetering toward mostly black and purple, so we're not gonna count it. The Last Time I Lied with Riley Sager. We have a Peter Pan. This one, I'm not sure if I can really count either, but there's a lot of blue on it, and it's like blue skies. It's really beautiful, it's one by one with Ruth Ware. This is a navy blue Twilight Zone Companion. I'm a huge fan of the Twilight Zone. So, that one. This is a um, FBI thriller called Whiplash. Mm, this is mostly purple, we're not gonna count this one. I'm not sure I can really count this one either. This is Umberland. Mostly black, but it does have some blue that, I don't know, what do y'all say? Not count it? I don't know, I'm gonna count it just for the simple fact that she's got a blue dress on as well. And then Sam and Ilsa's Last Hurrah. James, oh, not James Patterson, oh my gosh. John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Lauren Miracle. It is Let It Snow. So there's blues on there. It's another, it's called Blue Smoke and there's a lot of blue in it. I'm sure you can see it, but it's mostly holographic. So we're not gonna count that one either. Nora Roberts, Shelter in Place. Lisa Jewell, Then She Was Gone. Stranger in the Lake. Sydney Sheldon, The Other Side of Midnight. It is a dark navy blue book. The Woman in Cabin 10. Mary Higgins Clark, I've Got My Eyes on You. Another Mary Higgins Clark. I don't know if we can count this one though. It's not like the front cover. I think we're talking about the front cover, so I'm gonna put this one back. Um, and then Little Disasters. So that is all the books I have with a blue cover. So let's go on with this. Um, so, okay, Choose the Color was number one, which um, Nina did for me. And then the second one was show off your books in that color, which I just did. So question number three, separate color by red and unread books. Oh, this is going to be crazy. <laughs> okay, let me just go ahead and get started with that. Okay, here is a look of my unread versus my red pile. This is why I say I need to be on a book buying ban because <laughs> y'all, this is absolutely embarrassing. So here is a closer look of the ones I haven't read. as opposed to the ones I have read. Number four is what book do you want to read the most? So this is my TBR section. I have started, which one? Is, oh, The House on Fred Island. I have started that, but I'm not a huge fan of it too much. And I'm getting out of that summery beachy state of mind. So maybe that's why it's not so much something that I want to read a lot right now um but I feel like I will want to read I'm going to make the decision to read Umberland because I didn't pick it and I know that Nicole and Nina have read these so I'm going to pick Umberland save my thrillers for a little bit later in the season number six what is your favorite book I'm assuming ones that I've read. Um, that would have to be a toss up between, oh shoot, there's three. <laughs> oh gosh, 
brush. Nope, this is not one. Okay, I picked four because why not? Time, Time is a River by Mary Alice Monroe. She is a South Carolina native writer and I really do enjoy her. Um, I like her writing style and the story was really, really good. So um, I'm talking myself through these so I can pick a favorite. James Patterson, Sam's Letters to Jennifer, also amazing, but I think I like Time as a River more. I loved, um, was it something, yeah, Something Borrowed. I loved Something Borrowed more than this, so for that, I'm not going to pick that as my favorite. Safe Haven, if you are, I love this cover, isn't that pretty? Um, if you are a huge fan of um, Nicholas Sparks, you probably loved this book. And because he is my favorite author, I'm going to have to pick this as my favorite. Number six, what is your favorite cover? Let's see. I'm going to have to say this one because I absolutely love that little Tiffany box on the cover. However, you guys, look at this. This is so pretty. I mean, I can't really, can't really handle it with that beautiful house on the cover. Number seven, your least favorite cover. Uh, I would have to say probably any of Janet Ivanovich because they're just kind of simplistic and boring. Um, at least they were in the mass paperbacks. So for that, I'm just gonna say these because there's nothing really interesting other than the, the title of the books on there. Number eight, what is a book that you would like to buy? And keeping it with the blue theme, it is the Lost Apothecary. It is covered in blues and purple and trimmed in gold. And it has all these gorgeous um, exotic flowers on the cover. It is so pretty. And I know really nothing about this book. I just think that cover is so stunning. Every time I see um, that cover when I go into Target, I'm just smitten with the cover. And I do judge a book by its cover, honestly. Sometimes that leads me down the wrong path of being a horrible book, and sometimes it just makes me happy to have it in my collection. But that's, that's probably one I will get. I might just get it from the library to see if I like it first, and if I love it, and I would read it again, then I'm gonna grab it. But for right now, I'm trying to stick to my book buying ban. Number nine, what is something near you on your shelf? So something that isn't a book. And I already pulled a lot of stuff off that doesn't belong there but um, I'm gonna have to pull these Dapper Dan Funko Pops. I'll probably find a different place for it so I'm gonna go ahead and set it aside because that's not really where I want it to be but um, that's where it has been sitting since we purchased it. Okay guys that is gonna do it for the color tag. The rest of this video is going to be me just putting my bookshelf together. It is in complete disarray <laughs> and it's giving me anxiety so I've got to get going. Here is an overview of how everything is now. Um, I do have all of my Christmas books up here, aside from a few that wouldn't fit. And then my Disney books here with my Beast Library candle and the bookworm candle. So that's really cute. And of course, I went ahead and put some Disney ears up here. I don't want to get those broken with my other ears. So I went ahead and just left those out here 
think they look really pretty and when I have the little LED lights on it looks so so pretty and then down here we have our like chiclet necklace sparks all of that jazz here I do have like a few like this one that wouldn't fit up there because it was too big and then I have the um, let it snow one here I have this gorgeous rabbit and rose um, library scented candle I have not burned it yet it's got a wood wick in there um, this candle was 27 bucks you guys <laughs> it was a bit a bit excessive for like the size that it is we actually found that at a florist near my mom in the Myrtle Beach area so I'm just gonna look at it cuz I don't want to burn it, it cost too much <laughs> I will eventually but it's really pretty on the shelf and I hated to burn it right now so that's what this looks like I don't like having this situation happening here I really don't like it at all but they're not stacked out here anymore it doesn't look like a complete disaster zone again it's not my favorite way of styling the bookshelf I need a cart or a second bookshelf desperately in a perfect world that's where they would be right now but I digress <laughs> and then here is my rose gold basic candle it's really pretty and then um, this is like mystery books and like crime fiction I guess and then we have our beautiful Jessica Fletcher Funko Pop which is so pretty I do have a few middle grade books here and then like thriller books and then I have a few of the Charlene Harris um, Aurora Tea Garden books here this is like my newest one from Sherry Lapina. I do have a few of hers over here as well that I really enjoyed, so I can't wait to get to that one. And then down here is a hodgepodge of things. Like, yeah, that's still a disaster. I have to go through it. <laughs> but um, this is like my sister's Bibles and stuff, so I just I haven't moved any of that stuff yet. So I don't I don't want to move it at this moment. But this is my like fantasy section. You can see it's very very small. There's some autobiographies here. This one I've had since it came out. It was like 90, 1996 or something. Um, yeah, please don't judge me for the Chloe Aiken. My child loves him. And uh, then we have some babysitter club books. And then there is the rest of our like um, like fantasy books. Um, this is supposed to go up there, but again, I didn't have enough room. I'm trying to like equal stuff out. So it's not prim and proper like all the wonderful booktubers but this is what works for me because this is all the space that I have and then of course the wonderful Edward Funko Pop here in front of the toy lake section there are some books here I didn't have room for at all <laughs> so I'm gonna try to read those and then offload those where I can but I wanted to show you really quickly the books that I am getting rid of all right, I know we've changed angles again, but I'm trying to keep this video going, and I'm gonna show you those books now. This is a mass paperback of Nicholas Sparks. This is Safe Haven. Um, I have this copy of In Search of the Rose Notes. Beautiful cover, and I love the nest with a rose in it. We have a copy of The Haunted Heartland. What is that? True Ghost Stories of Haunted Heartland for what does that say? For the American something. I don't know what that says. It's covered by the Barnes & Noble tag, but that is this one. She's a, she's a chunky book, and it's really cool. Um, there are a lot of fun stories throughout this book. Um, I've had this in a very long time, too. We're probably talking like 95, 96 as well. Potentially. Let's see when this one was written. It was written 1985. So this one... 1992 so yeah like I said I've had this for a very long time probably 95 96 ish we have behind closed doors from BA Paris um, and then we have a dark matter by Blake Crouch I will say some of these um, especially I think this one has some language in it as well but these two here were pretty aggressive with the language just so I preface that before you request these and um, then you can't freak out on me because I've given you the disclaimer. <laughs> but that is going to do it for this video. I hope you had fun hanging out with me. Like I said, I do have some books I've got to figure out what to do with. 
Um, I don't want to just leave them there on the floor. Um, but I, I'm very happy with the progress of it at this point. I mean, I had like stacks and stacks of photos on here. My bed is completely covered with things that don't belong there that I need to figure out what I'm going to do with now. I hope that you've enjoyed this. If you have, please give this video a thumbs up so I know that you like this kind of content. If not, let me know in the comments below what your favorite type of video it is for me to film. I hope y'all have a blessed day and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!